And the National Industrial Court has fixed the 18th of April to deliver judgment on the constitutionality of Lagos State Government action in dissolving the activities of the Road Transport Employers Association of Nigeria in the state. Now, the court will also decide on the appointment of a caretaker committee to manage the affairs of commercial road transport workers. Kemi Folade Emo has more. The Road Transport Employers Association of Nigeria, RITIAN, brought the action against the governor of Lagos State, the attorney general of the state, and the Ministry of Transport. The other defendants are the commissioner of police in Lagos, as well as Suleiman Raji and 32 other members of the Parks Administration Ad Hoc Committee set up in September 2022 by Governor Babajide Sonwolu to manage the affairs of parks and garages in the state. At the resumed hearing on Tuesday, Justice Esowe first heard the preliminary objections of the defendants against the suit. Retian wants the court to declare as illegal the actions of the police upon the orders of the governor in restraining its elected officers from entering their offices. It also seeks a perpetual injunction restraining the state government and the caretaker committee from further interfering with the functions of its executive officers. The Lagos State Government's counsel, Adebayo Harun, argued that the letter appointed Honorable Raji and other members of the Ketika Committee speaks for itself and isn't addressed to Ritian. He added that the state government's rationale was geared at securing lives and property. While a senior advocate of Nigeria representing the Ketika Committee told the court that the governor legally empowered under the constitution as the chief security officer of the state took the decision to restore order after a bloody clash by factional members of Ritian which led to deaths, injuries, destruction of properties, and violence in parts of the state. Union matters are within the exclusive legislative list, and they are under the Federal Ministry of Labor and Employment. There, a there is a register of trade unions under that. There is also a minister that see, oversees the affairs of the union. So under what powers will the state government interfere with a matter that is within exclusive legislative list? All of them have been working together to ensure that there is tranquility, that there is no crisis. Nobody is being chased around, nobody is wounded, nobody is killed. So we cannot be, become too legalistic in what the, gov uh, the governor did. We should rather look at the end results of what he has done. And I believe the, the method and the procedure by which the governor dealt with this problem is one that the law accommodates. With legal arguments elaborately presented and motion papers adopted by the parties, judgment has now been fixed for April the 18th. Kemi Foladiemo, TVC News, Lagos.